Today's video is brought to you by Beautiful Places in This World. All right, um, isn't that pretty? I'd love to go there. All right, um, today's video is 7-3, Proving Triangles Are Similar. Um, you're gonna be, we're going to be writing just some short notes here. We'll be writing, um, filling in a table that you're going to need to glue in here. And you'll need at least six lines here, um, but I imagine that you might even be able to get ten. Um, so, but you need at least six for this bottom section for the, the very end. The first thing I'd like you to do is to remember what we learned last class. To prove that polygons are similar, you need to show, and, and this is the slide from our women's lacrosse um, video, if you want to show that two things are similar, then you need to show that the corresponding angles are congruent and the corresponding sides are proportional. It doesn't seem like a lot, but let's just count, for example, what it might be for, let's say if I wanted to show that these were similar. I'd have to check this angle and that angle. So that's one, two, three, four angles with another four angles. And I'd have to check all of the corresponding relationships of the sides. So one, two, three, four. That's eight things that I would have to check. Now luckily for you, remember we're looking at triangles today. For triangles, there are three shortcuts. Now the three shortcuts that I'm about to show you are three theorems. And the three theorems mean that you don't need to show every single angle is congruent and you don't need to show that every side is proportional. You just need a few combinations. So what I'd like you to remember, what I'd like you to really take away from this slide is that for triangles, there are some shortcuts for showing that they're similar. But if it's not a triangle, you need to show all of the angles are congruent and all the sides are proportional. For triangles, there are three shortcuts. Now we're going to be focusing on the table I asked you to glue in. The first thing I need you to do before we can get started is to copy these three diagrams down. Go ahead and pause the video and unpause when you're done. Now that you've copied down these diagrams, um, here's what you're going to be doing. What I've done is I've given you th the three theorems, but I've taken out some key words. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a hint. I'm going to give you the actual nicknames of these three theorems that all do the same thing. They all help you show that triangles are similar. They all have the same, hypo the same conclusion. Um, let me give you the hints first. I'm going to do the first one, and then I'd like you to do the other two on your own. All right, the first theorem is actually called the angle-angle similarity theorem. The second is called side-angle-side -side similarity theorem. And the last one is called side-side-side -side similarity theorem. What I'd like you to do, well, I'm going to kind of model for you what I'd like you to do. All right, for my first shape, um, I notice it's called the angle-angle theorem, uh, the angle-angle similarity theorem, and I'm going to deduce from the shape um, whatever I can. All right, I see they've given me no sides, but they have given me two sets of angles, and I can see that angle C is the same as angle W, and angle A is the same as angle Y. So two angles. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out from my word bank down here. Okay, if two blank of one triangle are blank to two other blank, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two other angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. Okay, so triangle ABC, because it has two corresponding angles that are congruent to the two other and the other triangle, then I can say they're similar. Now, just like with congruency, I had to be careful here. If I say triangle ABC, then I have to go in the same order. This is the single hash mark, so I'm going to start at A go to the angle with no mark to 47. So that means I'll start at Y, move to X, and finish at W. What I'd like you to do now is pause and try out these bottom ones. First you'll see what you notice from the picture. 
Then see if you can find those missing words. And lastly, write the similarity statement. Go ahead and pause the video and unpause when you're ready to move on. In the second one, I notice that angle M is congruent to angle R. And I also notice that the corresponding sides on the outside, 12 corresponds to 8 and 9 corresponds to 6. I happen to notice that those two ratios are congruent. If I simplify them, I get 3 over 2 in both cases. That means the sides are proportional. Okay, so I know that one angle is congruent and two sides are proportional. So what's the theorem? If a blank of one triangle is blank to an angle of a second triangle, okay, wait, if an angle of one triangle is congruent to an angle of a second triangle and the sides that include those two angles are, let's see, they were proportional, are proportional, then the triangles are similar, perfect. Okay, so let's name those triangles. Triangle M, N, O. All right, let's find that order. I'm starting at the angle that's congruent, going to N, and then O. M, N corresponds to R, Q. So I'll go R, Q, P. Triangle R, Q, P. All right, last but not least, for my last one, I know it's called side, side, side similarity, and they happen to only give me sides here. And I notice one, two, three are the measurements of the sides, 15, five, and 10. Hmm. If I take the second triangle and rotate it a little, if I say that the PI corresponds to RS, if I say that IG corresponds to ST, and if I say that PG corresponds to RT, well then I've got some corresponding sides. One to five, two to 10, and three to 15. Those three are all proportional. They're all equal to one fifth. That means that the sides, if the sides, if the, oops, move this. If the, uh oh, there we go. If the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So the correspond, you have to find the corresponding sides. All right, let's name it triangle PIG, triangle pig. All right, now PI is similar to RS and then T. All right, we're going to actually use these three theorems now. Um, but I want you to remember, the key thing I want you to see here is that these are not congruency theorems, they're similarity theorems. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'd love to go there. Wow. Anyway. All right, now in the very bottom section underneath the table, we're going to ask two questions. This is A, there'll be another one B. Um, and my question is, are they similar or not? Now. I've got three choices, and those three choices are angle, angle, side, angle, side, or side, side, side. So the question is, in the diagram I was given, what do I have? Do I have two angles, an angle and two sides, or three sides? Now clearly, there are three sides here. So the question is, are these similar by side, side, side? If they're similar by side, 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 then all the sides must be proportional. So I see six and nine. This looks kind of like a hypotenuse, 10 and 15. And my last eight and 12. The question is, are these congruent? One way to check if they're congruent, if their ratios are congruent, is to simplify them. If I take my first, second, and third ratio and I reduce them, what would I get? So my first ratio, if I simplify it, dividing by three, I get two-thirds. My second ratio, if I divide by five, I get two-thirds. Those are equal. That's good. 
But remember, all three sides must be proportional. So for my third ratio, if I divide by four, I get two thirds. All three are, so my answer is yes, they are similar by the side, side, side similarity theorem. Similarity theorem. And this part, the word similarity is key. You'd have to write that. One last place we'd like to be right now. All right, here's our last question for the day. All right, similar or not? Okay, here are our three options. I could prove these two triangles are similar by angle angle, side angle side, or side 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 similarity. The question is, what did they give me? I see a side side and angle, side side and angle. So I'm guessing I'm going to choose side angle side. Let's see if it's similar using those requirements. The first thing I need to check is are the angles congruent? And that is already done. But the, the second requirement is that the two corresponding sides that include the angle, so that's the red and the green, are they proportional? All right, so let's look at them. The first one is 6 to 2.5. That's one ratio. And the second is 10 to 4.5. I wanted to show you one other way to check to see if they were actually congruent. Now, remember, we don't know if they are yet, so that's why we're going to put a question mark there. One option is a really popular one. It's similar to what the process we do when we solve we cross multiply. If I cross multiply, here's what I get. 2.5 times 10 is just 25. And 6 times 4.5, if you multiply it, that's 30. 24 plus 3 is 27 with one decimal place. I get 27. If these ratios, if ratio 1 and ratio 2 were congruent, then these two numbers would be the same. But they're not. That means that the two sides are not proportional. So my answer is no, because the sides are not proportional. Are not proportional. All right, that's it.